now that the aquarium is established and we've been operating for more than five years now, our attention is moving towards conservation. So what we want to do is be a, uh, a cornerstone of the, of the animal world and, and play our part in learning about the, the, the different species and what they need to reproduce and survive in the wild. So this is certainly a new phase for us and we're looking forward to uh, making our contributions to conservation. Dubai offered an amazing opportunity with the size of the tank. Uh, there, there were things that we could do as far as an aquarium goes that couldn't be done anywhere else in the world. We're working with animals that very few people are working with in the world and we're starting to understand new science that could be really important to the globe. So this is a, this is a great thing to be a part of and, and we're very proud of it. Now we have a large number of sharks here that, that are, are not seen often around the world. So, the reproduction of sharks is something that science doesn't really have a good understanding of. And shark populations worldwide are declining and understanding what a shark needs to reproduce is, is critically important. So we're starting work on some projects like a shark artificial insemination project where we can learn the reproductive cycles and exactly when sharks need to mate and gestation periods and try to create the entire cycle here inside the aquarium. That information is then fed back to our counterpart scientists in the wild and they can help, it can help them make decisions, inform decisions when looking at wild populations. One project in particular that we're working on is Carcarius taurus or the sand tiger shark. Now in some parts of the world this shark is critically endangered and despite the fact that they're creating marine parks and conservation areas for, the, for these sharks, the population still declines. In these circumstances, the scientists really need to know about the reproductive cycle of the animals and, and how, if necessary, we can actually intervene with captive breeding programs. So one thing we're working on here is Carcarius taurus and artificial insemination. Scientists from Australia, where the, where the sand tiger shark is critically endangered, are actually flying to Dubai Aquarium and they'll be spending months with us working with our animals and trying to create that understanding. Certainly I've been exposed to a lot of marine creatures, uh, both in the wild and in aquariums. Uh, sharks still are the number one for me. There's something about them that just completely impresses me. It's, it's the body plan, the way they move in their environment, and their attitude. I just love their attitude. So certainly sharks are a highlight for me and always will be, I think. An aquarium can offer some insight. We never do it as well as nature does, but we offer some insight as to what that world looks like and it's, it's certainly not what most people think.